Let's take a look at question number four of the DS section of the 2015 official guide for GMAT. In this question, we're told that in between the first floor and the second floor of a building, there's nine feet of height, and we have to figure out how many steps there are in between those two floors. So what's important to us is the height of the steps, not the width. In condition one, we're told that three-fourths of a feet is the height of one step. So if there's n steps, that's three-fourths of an n equal to nine feet total. This computes to n being equal to 4 times 3, that's 12, for a total of 12 steps in between the floors, and condition 1 is sufficient by itself. But condition 2 is talking about width, which is out of scope, so this is certainly not sufficient. This sort of problem-solving approach, where we're given many variables, but only the relevant ones must be considered, is called the variable approach method that we talked about previously. And it's one of the most proven methods to deal with GMAT math problems nowadays. So in our case, the answer becomes A.